Well, welcome back to Stock Talk with Eric Anthony. Finally back home, today's Sunday. Uh, we got in later than expected on Friday, and yesterday was kind of a day of just trying to piece together what I could and couldn't say in the video. Uh, friendly reminder, I was invited out to the demonstration on behalf of Drone Deck, so I just wanna kind of throw that out there. Really quick, I just wanna say I'm super appreciative of all of the new subscribers. I hope to keep making more videos and bringing you guys great content that is straight to the point and something that you guys can take the time to hold on to and reference back if you guys are wanting to learn more about certain companies or certain certain innovative sectors out there. Okay, so yeah, a little bit about me. My name is Eric Anthony. I'm a pediatric case manager that specializes with children with cognitive disorders. I work with the hospitals here in the Bay Area and in the San Diego region. Due to HIPAA purposes, I can't identify exactly what hospitals they are, but typically any hospital out there that deals with children, those are the ones that usually I associate with. I'm married, my wife is a NICU nurse, and we recently had a baby. He's just turned one years old. And again, the whole reason, or the whole you know concept for this channel was, I, had, I was on baby bonding time, I had a bunch of free time on my hands, and I felt that there was many sectors out there that I enjoyed investing in that just weren't getting enough, you know, enough exposure, or I just felt that there was a lot of negativity surrounding these companies, especially with how the market's going. And I thought it'd be nice to, you know, create a channel that likes to show the highlights of these companies, more importantly, focus on the fundamentals of some of my favorite stocks and the business, because one thing that has always stood out to me is that the stock is not the business. So just because you can see the stock going down and you hear all this noise, and chatter on the social media, no matter on and on social media, no matter what what avenue you go down, I think a lot of us, you know, I, I just thought it'd be nice to remind some people of what some of my favorite companies are actually doing in the background. And that's why we have this why we have this channel. I know a lot has happened in the past few few days since the last interview. We had Mr. Dan O'Toole on here, took him up on his offer for his invite. And man, had nothing but a great time over in Indianapolis. The trip was crazy, quite the journey just to get from point A to point B it seemed like, but everything worked out. Got to meet some fantastic people, got to see some great innovative tech in person, got to sit in on some big meetings for with the city of Lawrence out in Indianapolis, got to check in with some of my you know favorite CEOs, including Dan O'Toole and Kent Wilson, and TK of Vayu Aerospace. And I got to meet some other people that I can't mention, but just know they were great as well. And uh, had a just an overall fantastic time out in the city in, in Indianapolis, had some great food, good laughs, and more importantly left there, really getting to experience the future of technology and the future of where this country sees itself as they continue to grow city by city. So. Again, thank you so much for checking in with Stock Talk, and let's get into it. So we left here on Wednesday of last week here from California around 11, 1130, and that's when the journey kind of began. We left Sacramento, and we found ourselves going to Burbank unexpectedly, and then from Burbank, we flew out to Denver. We had a layover, so we had a layover in Burbank, had a layover in Denver, and then from Denver, we flew to Indianapolis. Well, unfortunately, we found ourselves taxiing on the airport, on the airplane well past 12 a.m. And the funny thing is, um, because of all the time changes that we were going through throughout the day, it was kind of hard to catch up and figure out what time it was because there was no service on the plane. And so even when we landed, it was quite difficult for not just myself, but many of us to try to figure out exactly what time it was. So when I had looked at my watch, I was under the impression it was only 10.50 and I was wrong. It was actually like 11.45, 11.50. So long story short, we get off the plane and we finally get to Indianapolis and it's now 12.15 a.m. We hurry over to one of the informational centers and we ask them, hey, can we, is there a place to rent a car? And they say, you know what, actually Hertz is still open. Head over there, 
and they should be able to help you. And so we get down to the rental car place and there's this tremendously long line for people waiting for their car reservations. So now it's like 12, 15, 12, 20. By the time I finally got into the front to the teller, they said they were out of cars. And so this happened like two or three times. Taxis weren't picking up people. So we decided to go to plan like C at this point. And we waited for Uber and Lyft. We waited probably like 24 minutes for one and then like 17 minutes for another. And those still never showed up. And they finally like switched their timings and everything. And the I think just a trip from the airport to the hotel was gonna cost just under $300 because of uh, peak timing. So we definitely didn't go that route, um, but thankfully my wife was able to call uh, one of the shuttle services and they picked us up. So by the time we finally got picked up, it was about 2.02 a.m. So now 2.02 a.m., the demonstration is taking place at 10.20 a.m. or we have to meet at the, the pre-location at 10.20 a.m. over to meet the team for Drone Deck. So as you can imagine, this brought a lot of anxiety, but nonetheless, we hop into the, the minivan. What we noticed once we got out of the plane, we realized that it's actually kind of hot out here. It was just under 90 degrees at you know 12 a.m. out in Indianapolis and it was kind of sticky. And so we get in there and I asked the gentleman, hey, you know, how long is this drive gonna be? What's the rate, da da da. And he, you know, he gives us that information, which was, I think it was about like 66 or $76 way less than the $300 that Uber and Lyft wanted to charge and what the cost of, you know, the deposit in the rental car. We finally get in the car, he gets our stuff. He says, okay, you know, the drive's about to be 33, 34 minutes. It's not gonna be too long, we'll get you there. And I was like, okay, cool. So we close the door, finally sit down. And as I sit down, the gentleman lets us know that, hey, I have my windows down because the air conditioner in my car has broken. And wow, what a drive. Anyway, if there was an anxiety meter that you can see near me, it was just ready to pop because that was quite the adventure just to finally get to the hotel. But needless to say, he was great. We get to the hotel. Once we finally walk in there, I give the guys you know, my name for our reservation and he lets me know, oh, you know, your room has been moved. You're now moved to the top floor. So we're like, well, some things are actually starting to you know, turn around for our luck. And, you know, so we, we get our cards, we go up to the room. Well, I, I was wrong. We get to the room, we open the room, and I had you know, reserved a king bed for us. And unfortunately, there was, a, there was a wedding that was taking place at the hotel that we went to. And due to the wedding, all the rooms were sold out. So they moved our room. We didn't get the king bed, and actually, we were ended. Um, we ended up with two full size beds, so we had two beds like this big next to each other. So <laughs> it was kind of funny. We had to sleep in that, but and then we had to wake up at you know just at um, just a few hours later to get ready for the day. Now, mind you, we're on California time getting there, so when we finally get to bed, it's around three in the morning. We wake up at like 8.30, which is actually 5.30 our time, just to be able to, you know, get ready, get some breakfast, and then get into our um, Uber. You know, once we got to the hotel, I had realized that there was gonna be a lot of, um, I guess, quote unquote, yellow tape that I was not aware of prior to getting to the uh, location. And, you know, what I, I at first, to me, I was a little bummed out. I was like, oh man, like, so now what? Like, how how will I be able to convey to you guys out there what I was able to see? So basically, I was just kind of trying to figure out, well, if there's things that I can or can't say, if there's things that I can't use my phone for. So, you know, for me, I'm there trying to figure out, okay, well, how can I see this information and be able to convey to you guys exactly what we should be excited about as ALPP longs, but more importantly, just as members of the soon to be commercial drone delivery market. And what I found interesting is that as the day went on, I started to you know, really start thinking about all the things and that we're getting put into motion with the drone deck being at the forefront. So we finally get picked up from the hotel by a gentleman by the name of Mac. And Mac was interesting. Mac had an eclectic 
setting of um, loud music that was playing the entire drive from the hotel to the demonstration site. And the reason why he liked to drive so much was so that he can uh, help promote his books that he re uh, recently had published. And he, has, he was an anime author and um, illustrator for his books. And so if you guys, if any of you guys are anime fans out there, I'll put the link below so you guys can get um, some looks at his books as I feel like it's always nice to help promote anyone. But the reason why he likes to drive so much is so that people can see the books that he's made. So I thought, why not put him on the channel? And again, I will put his link below so you guys can check it out for anyone that's interested in those kind of um, reading material. But other than that, he got us to our site. And we finally, when we finally got out, we were uh, met by Sean and Jake of the Drone Deck team. Again, shout out to the whole Drone Deck team for all your hospitality. It was second to none. Uh, we got to meet a lot of the team out there. And um, we also met some of the videographers out there that were taking footage, that some of the footage that we're actually using today in the video. So after meeting Jake of Drone Deck and then meeting Sean, the brand manager of Drone Deck, um, Nirav, the CSO of the company, came up to myself and my wife and again was super hospitable. And from there we were also, you know, got to watch a couple more demonstrations from, from some large distances, high and far away, which was neat because as much as a drone person I am or a fan I am of the company, um, to be honest with you, I've never seen something like that in person and it really changes your scope of things when you get to experience it in person and really see how these things can run autonomously um, in the future. And you really just feel a sense of what the future will be, not only for the city of Lawrence or Indianapolis, but for the commercial drone space in general. So that was super exciting to be a part of. As we were watching some of these demonstrations, I had the pleasure of um, being approached by Shannon and Ian, the VP of Investor Relations of Alpine 4 and also a founder of the company. And they were great. They got to explain to me a little bit uh, more about what goes on in some of the day-to-day -day with what they deal with at the company and um, how long they've been a part of the company and just where they foresee the company going in the future. So um, that was really fun. Didn't expect to meet them. We got to stand and see demonstrations for first time in person, which I know for many of us, I think from past uh, presentations, especially as an ALPB investor or value uh, follower of the company, I know that on what you may see in pictures or on TV, uh, it really doesn't, I guess what's the best way, it really doesn't um, capulate exactly what's going on and how, you know, just how neat this, uh, this technology really is in person. Uh, so we got to see many successful demonstrations from the pickup to the drop off of the item. Um, and we got to see the lid open, the lid close. I know a lot of people out there are asking, did it, you know, how did it go? It was quite successful, even with the different type of um, weather that they had. There was some winds out there, but for the US one, that seemed to not matter at all. So for all you value aerospace, fans out there, or more importantly, ALPP or Alpine 4 investors out there, just know that the demonstrations were quite successful and especially for all parties involved that were in attendance. When I got to the location, I, I was told to, to keep a tight lip on who was in attendance, but I will say this, if all of us have to keep quiet about who the big company was that was out to see this demonstration and be part of um, the whole event along with you know the city the mayor and city of Lawrence then I would you know if anything I'm telling you right now as on my own account it was successful and the, the company out there is huge so just keep that in mind but out of respect for ALPP drone deck and that other company I will not reveal that information until it becomes, um, until it gets published by them actually with their involvement and their partnership with the, with the companies involved. So I will keep that there. 
As some of you have seen on Twitter, I got to meet Kent, which was really neat. Kent and I, almost immediately after demonstration, Kent and I got to go, we walked over to the drone deck itself. And again, for any of you guys out there wondering, the for this demonstration, the drone deck that was used was the commercial version. As in, in case you guys don't know, they have the residential version that will be 70% the size. So just kind of keep that in mind if any of you guys are wondering um, exactly what some of those specs are and just um, how they how they look in person and how they would look maybe in front of a house compared to at you know let's say a military facility hospital or a school setting such as virginia tech for example so from there after you know that was one of the most um probably one of the more exciting moments along with hanging out with dan and nirav was um, hanging out and chatting up with kent along with Ian and Shannon and my wife, and just kind of getting to know the Alpine family more as um, as people instead of just the company that we tend to hear in the white paper announcements and on social media. So again, I know I was telling you guys, the Drone Deck family is a huge family, but also the ALPP value team out there, they are also one huge family. So for anyone out there that is looking or in, into the company or having this company on your watch list or investing um, from my personal experience um, nothing but great things to the entire team involved hello bootsy and um, if i were you guys i'd be more than excited about what's to come in the future then we headed over to the mayor's office and got to see the the presentations not only by the city of lawrence the presentation by tk representing value aerospace drone deck and and ultimately it was just great to see the smart initiative that the city of lawrence will be taking for their future as well as the future of indianapolis so as you can see here i have some images of what the presentations look like um what the table looked like you can see them presenting here the, you know the um, the picture of drone deck highlighted on nasdaq there's just a lot going on here so i uh, you know, what's funny to me is that the day, the whole trip was based off of the demonstration. Well, the demonstration was, you know, the quote unquote highlight. But honestly, I think everything that was said in that meeting was to me stood out more than the demonstration. And to know that to, I guess, you know, you get to see the demonstration, you see it successful one a few times and you're like, okay, that's really cool. And then as you get closer to the drone, you get to, you know, really experience and get to see how it operates. And, you know, it's actually not as loud as many other ones out there, side note. But um, I think the meeting just solidified how big, how big is too big when it comes to thinking about the drone delivery space. And I don't think anyone's even thought of what they have in mind. And to, to just know who was presenting, including and who was in attendance, including Vayu Aerospace, TK. TK's presentation, well, that was like second to none regarding Vayu Aerospace and what they have going on. And again, it was great to just kind of hear him highlight the US too. So for everyone that is, you know, an ALPP investor and, you know, and knows the product line to know that US2 is in the forefront of these conversations, wow. You know, that just those that's just one of those things where you're just like, wow, you know, you you hear about it and it just takes a, it's just a different feeling when when you're just reading the white paper news about it compared to when you're in these meetings, really hearing about their approach, um, their and their vision for what's to come in the city and hopefully in the state as it continues to grow. And so, you know, the other thing, too, is just to see people's reactions and to hear all different type of commentary coming from different members of, of this meeting. I think that's what I really wanted to highlight for you guys out there, because that's something that no one else is going to be able to convey to you besides the people that were presenting in there. I guess, I guess another big thing about being there too, is not only realizing who's in company amongst you, but actually being able to see everyone, to see all their their faces and their reactions to what was being to being said, and honestly, everybody there was just purely excited. I have, and again, that's just not that's not from that's from an unbiased you know fly on the wall in that room. 
And for any of you NBA fans out there, spoiler alert, the All-Star Game will be in 2024 in the city of Indianapolis. So if any of you guys are big fans, now you guys know that information. But again, as someone who you know recently started this page to find themselves sitting in the meeting of you know the city planning initiatives type of meeting that we were in, very humbling experience. And again, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who accepted us with open arms and invited us out that way. And I think for everyone, anyone who's watching this, I think it's in our best interest to continue to follow what Drone Deck does as they do have an existing partnership with Value Aerospace that has gone successfully well, demonstrated well, and they will have their pilot program running in the next few months. I hope that this video will has or will bring to you a little more insight on the success and what's really brewing over at the at, for Drone Deck in Indianapolis, specifically in the city of Lawrence, and to really kind of take in take in just how how much support and um, how many people and just great minds and investors they have behind them that are all looking for them to succeed. So, you know, to when you're getting whole cities and parts of your state to just really be all in on your success, that's where I would think, that's where I would start looking at it from a different viewpoint as an ALPP investor and really think about like, wow, if we're already in partnership with this company, just imagine if how this company continues to grow as they continue to grow from city to city, zip code to zip code, they're going to need more drones, which will ultimately be more products of ALPP. So. After that, we got to uh, have a nice dinner out there with, with Dan and Nirav, which was, you know, just also a great experience. And again, similar to how we got to hang out with Kent and Ian and Shannon and TK and just kind of hear and see a different side of them. It was just, um, I guess it just kind of furthered my trust in the company and more importantly, only increase my excitement towards commercial drone delivery as well as my excitement of being part of a company such as ALPP. Now, really quick, I just wanna make a couple announcements out there for any of you guys that are interested. Little insight here, as some of you may know, they will be starting their next round of investing and or their next capital raising round. And so if you guys want more information on that, check the link below so you guys can get included on their next um, capital raising with Start Engine. You know, and the dinner was awesome. You know, I couldn't, dinner was actually really good. We got to hang out and go to this place called The Yard out in Indianapolis. So if any of you guys go visit, highly recommend to go out there and check out some of these places that we got to eat at. There's a taco restaurant that was amazing. We ate at this place called the H&C Kitchen, which was fantastic. And then, um, but more importantly, during this, uh, during these dinners and these meetings, we got to hear so much about what's coming in the future and just exactly how some of these big cities are really not only um, looking towards the future, but how, they're, how they envision companies such as Drone Deck, ALPP, and Vayu being a subsidiary of it to be a part of where these cities um, will be in the next five to 10 years. More importantly, be patient. I know a lot of us uh, have weird expectations on when things are gonna happen. But again, if you have major cities, major states that are including companies in their prospective meetings for where they see their city planning going, trust me, I feel like for anyone out there, those would be the companies that I would have my eyes on. Again, not financial advice, but that's just something that um, really stood out to me. And, um, you know, kind of getting back to some of who we met and the demonstration and getting to see the drone deck in person and meeting with the big company and those guys out there too, they're awesome. And again, I think once we, there's some legal things that all get cleared out. Once I get the okay, trust me, I will reveal the images of who that company is. I have videos. I will get to show you guys a little bit more insight on my own, um, what I was allowed to take footage of. And again, I just wanna be respectful to 
all parties involved. And for those reasons, I won't leak anything or reveal it. But trust me, trust me when I say nothing but good things for everyone involved. Now, that kind of brings me to my next point, uh, just to kind of wrap it up. For all you guys out there, if you guys, like I said, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you saw that I was hanging out with Kent. And Kent was uh, gracious enough to let us know that he will be on the channel at some point in the future. You know, it was kind of cool. When I, when I finally got to meet Kent, one of the first things that he had said to me was that he knew and had seen some of the videos that we make here, uh, that we make here on the channel. And that was, that was really neat. You, you know, there's so many things going on, especially after seeing just how fast things can go and the transitions from topics, especially in these kind of meetings, to know that he actually had some time, has some time out of the day to know that we exist and that these videos are being made. It was actually pretty neat. And again, another humbling moment, especially for the growth of this channel and where we are going. He was gracious enough to let us know that when there's something big to come on that, uh, and again, we're not setting any, ex any expectations. So I'm not gonna tell you what day or you know what when it's gonna happen, but just know that we should have, uh, he did say that he will come on the channel, which will be great to have a more in-depth interview with Kent and kind of hear the next steps of this demonstration, hopefully, and just exactly where the company is going. But um, it's pretty neat to know that, you know, he extended that invite to come on. So definitely looking forward to that. And another invite that he extended to us that I happily accepted, as I'm sure many of you guys would, is that They've um, extended an invite to me to go out to Ann Arbor and go check out the Vayu facility. So be prepared for that as we're gonna be able to get some firsthand look at the, everything goes on over there at that facility and ultimately um, get to see another side of the Vayu team. So super excited about that. So again, look out for you know more content, more videos that will just keep highlighting some of what are the fundamentals and what's going on in behind the scenes for some of our favorite companies. I'll continue to bring you videos on big white paper announcements regarding the sectors that we, that we follow here. We have an upcoming interview with Danielle Gagne of Volatus Aerospace of the, the Drone News Network. So that's exciting. So look out for that. And more importantly, look out for the trip that we will have out to go see everyone over at Bayou out in Ann Arbor. And like always, thank you so much for checking in with Stock Talk with Eric Anthony. And I'll see you mañana.